Uh, so this is our fan assembly. Um, this is uh, kind of resides here uh, in the back of, of the sled. Uh, we didn't put the, the, the fans up in the front here in part because we wanted to have the drives up here. So it was important that we actually use that front surface area for those drives, for those fuel replaceable drives. Um, so these are all in the back. Uh, this looks like three fans. It's actually six because each of these is, is, a, is a dual rotor fan. Um, these fans are 80 millimeters high, importantly. Uh, that is something you find very frequently in the hyperscalers, much less frequently in the, the mainstream enterprise. It was very important for us to get, you, to get up and off these little tiny fans to these much larger fans. The, the efficiency of a fan is going to be cube, proportional to the cube of the radius. So uh, the, the bigger a fan you can have, the more air you can move. These things move a lot of air using not much power. And in fact, when the, the San Yodenki fans by default, when they are at what's called 0% PWM, PWM is the, the pulse width modulation that dictates how, how much the fan should be running. 0% PWM means I want you at your lowest level. By default, these fans, when at 0% PWM, operate at 5,000 RPM. Well, 5,000 RPM is actually moving more air than we needed, and importantly, it was drawing more power than we needed. Uh, and we actually knew that we would actually be able to operate the fans quite a bit slower. Uh, and so we worked with Sandy Denki to modify this fan. So at 0% PWM, it's at 2,000 RPM instead of 5,000 RPM. Huge difference in acoustics between 2,000 RPM and 5,000 RPM. And in fact, when the, one of our double E's and I were operating on one of the very first fan trays that we had at 2000 RPM, uh, Robert Keith, and when, when RFK and I were operating on a gimlet, one of the first gimlets with a 2K fan chassis, he and I thought we had both blown the chassis out, both blown the board out because the fans were silent. Normally when the fans are silent, it's because something has gone horribly wrong and we've blown the board out. And I was like, oh brother, we blew this thing out. And it was only when I went to go kind of, you put hands on the board, I could feel air flowing. I'm like, wait a minute, this thing is actually on. And realized like, wow, those 2K RPM fans are really, really quiet. So these things are whisper quiet when they're at 2K RPM. When the rack is running, running full tilt, um, they do come up off, off, off 2K RPM. They tend to be at uh, 3000 RPM or so, but that is all dynamically controlled by our service processor. So the service processor is gonna, it w will turn these fans up and down as it needs to. Um, but we have found even when, when we are cranking workloads, these fans don't really need to get up that much because they move, they move so, there's so many of them, six of them, they move air so efficiently. And what all that adds up to, it's when the acoustics are nice, certainly, um, but most of us don't spend our lives in the data center, so the acoustics are kind of a nice to have, but not more than that. But what it does mean is these things draw very, very little power. So when you've got that rack fully cranked and, and running maximal workload, our fans account for much less than 2% of the total draw of that rack. Um, and that is really significant because right now in our data centers, we spend way too much energy uh, on those screaming fans. Turns out they draw a lot of power. These larger fans are really, really efficient and really glorious in that rack. Very important for us to put that power where it belongs, which is you want all that power going to that CPU, going to those NVMe drives, going to that networking. That's where you want your power. You don't want your power going to your fans. And that is our fan assembly.